What's this? We're at a graveyard. We're at a graveyard on Grand Cayman Island. This is on the... Is this still considered East End, babe? Yeah. Still considered East End. What's that? Now, the graveyard here, they do not bury them in the ground, but I'm here to collect graveyard dirt. There is the ocean, right over there. Probably can't see anything. We got some crazy night bird hounding us. I'm really sorry, you guys can't see much of anything. Let me try again. Ah, light, let there be light. Okay, and it started to rain. So here's a glimpse of grave graveyard at night on Grand Cayman. I can tell you for sure that there's not a whole lot of energy that we feel here. Sir, do you feel anything? It's, it's, it's really mellow, super, super mellow. Um, we have brought offerings. Um, we're going to collect some sand, some, some dirt. Um, it's again, not like graveyard dirt, like you would being that you're, it, that it's on an island. It's very similar to New Orleans um, in the way that um, they have to be in these concrete things. So, but we're still here. There is a lot of energy. However, it's not a whole lot of spiritual energy. It's not the same that I normally get when I go to graveyards. Um, not necessarily in the States or whatnot. What do you feel? We're gonna dig right here. You're gonna dig right here. Okay. This is your dig. Was there something that connected you to this section? So we have our bag. We have our spoon. We're ready to go. We have offerings. It's very important that you leave offerings. Extremely important. And the rain comes down. And it's starting to rain like crazy. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yay! I'm going to try to get a nice full bag. Was that Cayman money that you just put down? Yeah. What do they want with American money? Well, American is less than Cayman right now. That's the point. That is some fantastic scooping, sir. Okay. I know I said earlier that I didn't feel anything, but I just got something from over there. Let's go over there. And I can't really be out here very much with a flashlight. Oh, somebody's flowers. Let's pick those up. back up there. Here you go. Okay. 
Okay, we fill in something over here, but I don't think it belongs to the cemetery. This person has quite a few flowers. I'm sorry, it's so, you know, let me try to put this, I don't know if that's better or not. Lots of flowers. I'm getting something over here. I think it's coming from the other side of the hedge there. Spend some time. I know, I'm crazy. Um, it's in the rain. <laughs> in the rain. Okay, we are headed back to our uh, place where we're staying. I was uh, walking around and I had said that I had felt something, but I wasn't sure what it was and wasn't part of the cemetery. Uh, I wasn't getting much from the cemetery at all, actually. Um, and we've been to a couple of different ones here on the island, and, and, and it's been really, really chill. I mean, it's it, not to say that island time or any other stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's been a very mellow um, experience, and I haven't. There hasn't been a whole lot of activity. Um, well, Bear had put the uh, sand in the car. And I was still in the cemetery walking around and, you know, trying to feel something and try to connect with something. And I felt that. And I think you have to take a left here soon to go back to our deal. I'm trying to be a navigator and film at the same time. Yeah, we go east end. Um, so uh, it started raining quite hard. And, uh, you know, water is a conduit. And he was putting the sand in the back. And you want to explain to them what you... Oh, I looked up and there's street lights here. It's dark, but there's street lights. So kind of similar, like you see right up here with the street light. Right, and I saw three dark shadows float across the street with no physical being or body to them. It wasn't anything flying by as far as birds go. It wasn't crabs crossing the street. It was just there weren't leaves falling off the tree. It was just three shadows that whisked across the road. So uh, I went, I was going to get in the car and sit down, and I said, nope, she got to go. Uh, it just felt like they were uh, hunting us out. Why, I don't know. Could have just been to communicate, could have been upset. I have no idea, but it was just better to leave than to invite any extra trouble. Yeah, and it was interesting because as soon as I, I had actually had shut off the camera, and I was gonna go walk over to something that I, I, at least I felt where that was a hot spot or an energy spot. And, and I hear a call and he's like, you know, hey, we gotta go. And I'm like, what, what's going on? And I sort of like ran over to the other side of the, um, of the bar. And then, and then we exited in a very appropriate way, got in the car and, and went. Um, don't really need anything attaching itself to me. But um, basically, they they went straight for me, and I do have. You, you guys got to know that when you go to these places, I mean, you, you cannot be an amateur, and you cannot be messing around with um, some stuff. So yeah, that would have been great if you were <laughs> very very um, established and experienced. Um, however, you know, you're messing with a whole another energy that you're very. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen, you know, and you're certainly not trying to look for that on vacation. Um, so we thought it best just to get in the car and go. Um, so did this these apparitions have any, like, was it a human form at all, babe? No, it was, it was kind of wispy, and, and, uh, but it, it still blocked the light enough that I could tell there was something there. And more, more to be said about it, the hair stood up on the back of my neck side of my arms I uh, I felt it before I saw it I look up I see the, the shadows crossing the road and I could even feel them making their way around the bottom side and up that other side which you were on. where I was at yeah yes. they were they were headed towards me it's almost like they couldn't go straight through the middle of it which was odd to me so, so they had to take the long way around they were taking the long way around okay well that gave us just enough time to get out then Right. Wow. Okay. I, I feel that was a near miss. Absolute near miss. Um, we did get our graveyard dirt. 
we were also going to try to, I think we're going to try to get um, a church dirt. I, I don't know if we're going to make that happen or not. Um, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you freaked out? No. Okay. All right. Um, we we did uh, go in. Um, I've got um, I've got my stones with me in my purse. I carry them everywhere. Um, and um, I do not have my moonstone on, which is very interesting. I should not have done that, but um, my moonstone has been on for at least a solid year, if not more. And uh, I took it off today, um, not knowing why, but I did. But I did, we did uh, I didn't protect want ourselves. Sun it. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, we didn't want the sun bleaching it out. Um, but we do have um, frankincense oil on my protective. Um, frankincense oil so I think the rain kind of neutralized that a bit. I think so? I think so. Mm. I think we were more grounded and uh, readable just because uh, the rain. Just because of the rain. That the rain, rain I'm telling you, rain is a conduit. Um, if y'all mess around with certain elements I seem to get a whole lot from earth, fire, and water and air is always, for me, automatic. You know, those things all go with those other three elements for me. So it's like air is always attached to it. No matter what you're doing, you're always working with air, you know? Uh, all right, so that is that. Sorry for the crazy road stuff, but there's not a whole lot, a lot of light in this car and we don't really want to illuminate ourselves while driving. So <laughs> I get many blessings. Use caution when going to graveyards <laughs> in the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, have a good night. Many blessings.